Hey guys, this is Mike Panacci today from Player One Video Games with our latest trades from this weekend. And uh, let's start off with the systems. So we got some nice, crusty uh, N64s <laughs> and Supers, but we're going to get those cleaned up. Oh, Mike, Mike, it's an N64. It's an N64. Oh, let's see if it has the expansion pack. Of course uh, not. Wah, wah. Of course not. 500 gigawatt PS4. And we have this PSP Go. It's got the cover on it. Uh, so that's that's a nice system there, and we have these Zelda uh, Joy Cons wow. in stock. Those are for sure. We usually don't have those in stock. And let's see, we have a Skyrim there and a Crash for the Switch, and then we have all these. Um, just to let you know, Rich here is on the camera. He's going to make you some really bad fake light uh, covers and inserts for these. Yeah, guys. they're going to be really bad. Really bad for you guys. So and we're going to double the price too because of that. The price. Yeah. Okay. So we got Serious Sam. <laughs> Oh boy, I can't. Enter the gungeon. All right, yeah. M Metal Gear looks like. Yep. Pokemon. Yep. Biohazard Revelation. All right. Hotline Miami Connection. Oh, Ooh. nice, nice. Chicken Man on Odd World. World. Blood Rain Revamp. Thank you, Tim, for. Yeah, Burnout Paradise. <laughs> we needed that. A couple of Vita. Oh wait, uh, uh, uh -oh. PSP game there, Mock. Mike, you want to talk about this PSP game no, real quick? No, 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 no. <laughs> Frustrate people out there <laughs> even more. Got some Guitar Hero games there, Mortal Kombat, Madden, oh, nice. Oh. Got some DS games, 3DS, and a couple of Vita games there. Loose Rich is gonna make some more bad labels for those. Yep. Really fake, fake bad ones. We love that. Some three PS Vita games there. Nice. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Hey, Street Fighter Alpha Three. This is one of my favorite uh, Street Fighters. Is the Alpha Three series. Oh, I so love good. Max on the PSP. Another uh, PS Vita game there. And some more 3DS in the box there, and Xbox One's Tomb Raider there on top. And below is Halo 4 Cult Limited Edition. And let's go with the old school stuff here. Oh yeah, well, let's, let's do with the handhelds. Harry Potter, Super Mario, it's, uh, it's really fun. Another Harry Potter. Uh, what else we game got Watch here? Game Watch 2, nice. Yeah, Game Watch. Oh, we don't get this trading card game much anymore. And the, and the great Mario 2 there. And let's go with a stack of NES Baseball Stars. You know what I like about Baseball Stars? This one right here, you can change everybody's name and you can put the current roster of the Astros or the Rangers on there you want and play a season with it. It's really, hey, really cool. cool. Metroid, the uh, second label, uh, not the original, mm -hmm. Gold Link there. I actually prefer that label of Metroid you more. You like that one better? I do. Let's, let's show people that one. We don't have the original in there, but it's a little bit brighter, kind of yellow, kind of more modern, right? I think it looks cool. Yeah, it looks good. Um, Russian Attack, the original Turtles, RC Prime, Commando, I love that one too. Uh, some Super Nintendo games there, Mario All-Stars on top with Zelda, some commons in there, World on the bottom, uh, oh, Yoshi Island, you know this label right here must have was a late label, and I, you rarely see these games, this one in perfect condition, but this one actually, to me, is not bad, mm -mm. Uh, it's got, you know, some on the corner there, um, you can just magic mark of that, right? But this one's not not in bad shape to me. Which we're gonna do, and then we're gonna triple the price. Triple the price on that. Okay. <laughs> and so we got some another stack there, NHL Stanley Cup. Oh, Street that Fighter. that Frank Thomas is actually really fun. Think think baseball, but with Mortal Kombat graphics. Oh, nice! I had to try it's, that. It's, that one. It's, it's it's digitized. Oh, another leftover uh, stack of NES. Ooh. Bubble Bob there on the bottom. Everybody wants that in a ton. Oh, what? Hey, look! Oh, oh! Super oh. advantage with the spree candy buttons. I always thought when I saw that, it looks like those spree candies. You remember those? Mm. <laughs> That's the closest to a first party controller you'll get. Hopefully, nobody's been licking these buttons. All right. Uh, we got some N64 games there, uh, some Kicks. decent ones. You know this this Wave Race right here was one of my favorites. Whenever I played this game, it was the first time I ever, when I was playing, the waves were so realistic to me at the time. It was like, thanks guys. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was like, uh, oh my God, I'm swallowing seawater. You know, <laughs> I felt like I was really gulping water when I would go underneath with the jet ski, it was cool. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie there, quite a few good ones. Uh, South Park. This was this game really tripped me out because it looked so much like the cartoon back then. That was unusual, and a couple of Super Famicom games in there, and hey, the Super Game Boy, which is really really cool. So you can plug in your uh, Game Boy games and play them on your Super Nintendo on the big TV. Uh, anything else here that I missed? This, um, anything else? No. No, I think you got it pretty much. On hey, the baller. I'm amazing. So come on down to Player One Video Games. It'll be a great time.